I love this story because it gives you a great insight into how politics works and uh, unfortunately also how the business community works at times. So it's about Argentina and it's about some vulture capitalists who are coming in to pick it clean. Now, if you don't know the backstory, you might see things like this. This is an ad that the vulture capitalist took out in uh, Politico and it goes after Argentine president um, Christina Kirchner, right? And it's, she says that uh, um, she's uh, comfortable uh, with drug dealers. Uh, Argentina set that up. It's the Wild West of the global narcotic trade, etc. And, and then they also talk about how they're uh, making a deal with the Iranians. It's, oh my God, it sounds so dangerous. Iranian drugs. What's wrong with Argentina? My, it gives, gives you an attitude of there's something deeply wrong. The reality is there's nothing wrong with Argentina, and a lot of that is just propaganda. Why are they doing it? I'll get to that in a second. But you might have seen not just ads, but editorials in papers like the Wall Street Journal, The Hill, Britain's Daily Te Telegraph, and even the Huffington Post, which has now actually removed some of those editorials once they found out who they were working for. Well, it turns out they were all written by lobbyists who were working for the American Task Force Argentina. <laughs> it's really funny. Like, you need a task force for Argentina. Is it because they care about Argentina? No, it's because they want to rip Argentina's face off. Uh, who's in it? Well, you've got five different vulture funds that are in it, but also the U.S. Cattlemen's Association, and I love this one, women involved in farm economics. In other words, wife. Now, they are against Argentina because of, you know, they say they get subsidies for their cattle, etc. So they have a particular special interest that they want to push, but the vulture funds are what's really interesting. So what do they do? Well, uh, the government of Argentina defaulted on their debt back in 2001. And you have to understand something about business. Any investment carries a certain degree of risk. And every investor knows that that risk might go south on them. And they might lose some money, or in some cases, all of their money. That is perfectly normal. Now, you don't want that to happen. And of course, you want the debtor to pay it back. And that's how you would like normal business to, uh, to uh, be pursued. But from time to time, you take a bad risk and you pay the consequences and you lose your money. Well, that's what happened in Argentina and it turns out they couldn't pay their bills. Now, that's not a good thing, it's a bad thing, but it's done and long gone, right? And in fact, the people who had the original debt have already sold it off. In fact, they sold it for pennies on the dollar. Well, who bought it? A vulture fund did. Now, one of those is Paul Singer's Elliott Management. And this is why they call him a vulture fund. They bought the debt for $48.7 million back in 2008, seven years after Argentina say we can't pay that debt, right? But they bought it anyway for that amount of money. Now they're asking for $1.44 billion, including interest. Now that seems outrageous, right? For you buy it for $48 million and you want $1.4 billion? Now how are you going to do that on a debt that's already been declared something that can't be collected? Well, you do it by applying political pressure. And how are you going to apply political pressure? You're going to do it in America. You're going to get lobbyists. And it's not like these guys don't know how to do it. They've done it over and over again, and they've had success with it. This is something that Elliott Management Group, again, led by Paul Singer, did already in two different countries. They did it in Peru and the Democratic Republic of Congo. They buy the debt at pennies on the dollar, and then they want the whole dollar back. They want all of it. And they use politics in America to get it, and they use smear tactics against those governments. By the way, another group involved here is FH International Asset Management, and they also did this to Liberia recently, even though Liberia is among the three poorest countries in the world. But they went and they smeared the government, they went after them in eight different ways, they applied political pressure until the tiny amount of money that they paid turned into a giant amount of money that they paid, and they got it from the Liberian government. So, who are the people who are helping to do them to do this in America? Well, let me just give you three names that was in a terrific Huffington Post article about this. Robert uh, Rabin, uh, Robert Shapiro, and Nancy Soderberg. Now, who are these folks? All former Clinton administration officials. Now, I tell you that because it isn't just Republicans that are the bad guys, although the Republicans are largely a wholly owned subsidiary of corporate America, but this is how they all make money. The Clinton guys, they get out of office and they're like, how am I going to cash in? I'll go to help a vulture fund and, I'll, and these are the guys who wrote the editorials. And to be fair to all those different organizations, the Hill, having the Post, etc., they're like, oh, it's a former Clinton administration official. Oh, it's a former diplomat. Well, okay, great. Oh, they're concerned about Argentina. 
What they don't tell you is they're getting paid a lot of money to be concerned about Argentina. And it turns out, in fact, this lobbying group that is, consists of just cattlemen and their wives and the vulture funds who give the great majority of the money to the lobbying group has spent about a million dollars last year in 2012 and 3.8 million dollars lobbying since 2007. And their whole point is to apply enough pressure, cause enough pain on the people of Argentina and the government of Argentina so that they can turn 48 million plus, you add in, you know, about three to five million dollars in lobbying expenses here in the US, and voila, you get 1.4 billion dollars. That's why they're called vulture capitalists. Now that you know, you shouldn't let them get away with it. So when you see an article about Argentina or an editorial or an ad, beware of what you're reading, because it's very likely from people who purposely want to damage that country. And Argentina is not the only people that they do this to. I showed you the other ones they've done it to in the past, and they're going to do it again. This is how politics works, and oftentimes it's really, really dirty.